everyone! Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Elsie Dempsey's home. I am so, so excited for today's episode. It's me, Samantha, for the love of Sims, by the way. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. And let's go ahead and jump right into it. So in the, I think it's the previous decades episode, it might have been two decades. It was the, not the one with Patsy, but the one with Diana and Joey. Um, Elsie was all like, hey girl, hey, I think I'm gonna have a baby. And we said, go for it. And it looks like there's something amazing growing inside of me. And she will be uh, second trimester in 16 hours. It's so thrilling to discover that there is a life growing inside of me. I am so pumped. Uh, we have not hung out with this family in so long and it shows. We also have the cute dog that they, we adopted. It's probably like a year ago from now. Um, little Cashy, the last time we were with them, they also adopted this little cutie pie. So it has been a really, really long time. And as I can see here, both the kids aren't doing too good and they're outside in the freezing cold. So what, what is going on with Elijah? Elijah is insecure. He believes that he doesn't look great. Oh, the only way Elijah will learn to accept himself is by learning to love who he is. Um, Max is definitely way more of a uh, ladies guy, I could see. So I could see Elijah getting pretty um, insecure pretty quick. This is their bedroom. It's not really appropriate for two teen boys. So um, I think we're gonna give them a makeover. So I'm gonna quickly try to give these guys a little bit of a bedroom makeover. They don't have a huge house. So, I mean, it's pretty big, but unless Elsie gives up her studio, which she's really not using, which is too bad, because it's actually so cute. But I don't think she's gonna be using it anytime soon, and we do have a baby coming along. So back in the old days, um, during World War II, Elsie really wanted to be an artist like her mom. But unfortunately with the war and with her husband being away, she really didn't get much of an opportunity per to pursue her dreams the way she always wanted to. Um, so I'm hoping that we will be able to get Elsie to still, you know, with her career, still pursue doing the painting because of course we all really want to see someone in the family always carry on that painting skill that Alice had by the way, if you hear um, banging, it's my cats, or it's my dogs. They are play fighting on the in the hallway right next to us, so that'll be what you're hearing. I'm not really sure what I see um, Elijah taking for school. I think we all are in agreement that he is kind of like um, Patsy in that way, where he's a little bit more into learning. I don't know if he would necessarily become a rocket scientist. Um, so I am kind of curious to hear your thoughts on where you think Elijah's little path would go. I've had a bunch of different ideas, but of course, as always, you know, I love to hear your thoughts also. Alrighty, so I've gone ahead and I have finished everything. I just put a crib in here for Elsie. That way she can have a baby. And then in the guy's room, I went ahead and I tried to make both sides kind of appropriate for each of them. So this side is obviously Elijah's. It's a lot more put together and clean and neat. And he actually does his homework. So he has a space for his homework. And Max's side of the room is more music focused, more <laughs> not so neat, very messy, and just not um, the tidiest <laughs> neighborhood brawl day. So it says here, Max loves this tradition from being hot headed. So this is definitely a Max thing to do. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna wake him up and he can go use the bathroom. And what I want Max to do is I actually would really like him to join one of those after school activities. Like I want him to join the club, but I want it to be that really bad one. 
Max's crew. Where is it? The Renegades. Want to make friends? Want to be popular? Too bad. The first rule of the Renegades is that you don't talk about the Renegades. Oh my god, Max. <laughs> we should age Max up if he's going to be the leader of the crew. Hi, Max. I heard you were interested. Oh, Max Villarreal and Max Dempsey. <laughs> Um, I guess it's Max Gibbs. I heard you were interested in joining the Renegades. Come hang out with us, and if you impress us, you can ask us to apply. Oh my gosh. I was thinking of meeting up at the old battleship park. Do you want to join us? Yes. Let's go do it. And then later in the day today, we're actually going to be throwing Elsie a baby shower. Okay, so Max and his crew are showing up again, thankfully. So I'm going to have him go ahead and say hello to everybody. So we have uh, Ulrike Faust and we have Morgan Fires. So he's meeting some of the people. I could see him having a little bit of a thing for these girls. <laughs> Oh, what's it say here? Feeling great inside from taking a poop. <laughs> I feel so much lighter now that I emptied the tank. <laughs> um, it's going great. I'm so glad that this conversation is going great. First impressions are strong. Yikes. So we have a bad first impression. Oh, <laughs> so Max thinks that Morgan is annoying. And Morgan thinks that Max is clowning. <laughs> Alrighty says that she thinks we're sophisticated and, or no, we think she's sophisticated and she thinks we're funny. Um, clubs. Talk about, talk about the renegades. So he's gonna try to like be like, yeah, I'm tough enough to join this crew, you know. Of course he's gonna do that with <laughs> poor Morgan. <laughs> So I'll give all of these three a makeover and I'll post the short um, after this video goes live. That way you guys can see what they look like. I'm hoping that him being mischievous is a good thing. Oh, he wants to kiss her hand. Oh, he's flirty being around her. <laughs> Hanging out with Max Villarreal is the main reason that I enjoy the Renegades. Oh, so it looks like someone's got a crush on on Maxi Poo. Get him being so flirty. Talk about the renegades. We'll just keep talking about it. So we gotta make a good impression on Max. So we gotta find out where Max is at. Oh, he's over here making important Max calls. All right, so we're gonna go do a friendly introduction. I don't know which girl he's feeling this way about. Meanie, there's nothing better than someone else's misery to boost one's spirit. Oh my gosh, Max, you're so bad. Okay, so we're gonna do a friendly introduction with Max. And, oh, that's not good. They don't like each other. Oh, we need them to like each other. <laughs> Max's sentiments about Max is that he's untrustworthy. And Max's sentiments about Max is that he's dramatic. <laughs> Maybe we should change Max Villarreal's name to, like, Maxwell. Um, that way we just know who's who. Oh my gosh, Max has learned that Max likes Max Villarreal likes lullaby <laughs> radio music. <laughs> well, okay then, Max Villarreal. So Max is going to come over and he's going to be like, yeah, so he's going to be like, kind of like, you know, am I in or not, dude? Like, I don't need to be wasting my time here. And he's really flirty about someone. I just don't know who. So let's see. I am the leader of the Renegades. I know that. I want to become... Oh, he's laughing at us. He's like, I don't really think that this is for you, is he? Oh, we got accepted. Okay, let's have them do their fight. Because it is... Um, <laughs> it is Neighborhood Brawl Day. So we'll get that out of the way. Because that'll make Sam feel good. Max is getting into his first fight. Oh my god. I hate making other people feel bad. No, you don't. Slice of Life is giving Max a completely different personality than what is his personality. Triumphant! Yeah, we did. It got into a fight. Ew. Oh, it made him physically uncomfortable. He feels like he should go and don't feel like a winner because he got in a fight. 
So he's got a little bit of a good side in him. But Max is going to say to him, like, hey, you're actually a really good fighter. You know, we could actually... You're so awesome, Max. Oh, wow, they really like each other. So Max is like, you know, I actually think that there's something else that uh, you would do better in. So Max is like, oh, this sounds great. What is it? And Max is going to tell... <laughs> Max Vill Villarreal is going to tell him about um, a business opportunity and that he'll see him tonight at the same place in order to go over the business opportunity so max is like okay this is my way in so i'm gonna go ahead we're gonna send him home we got into our club now now we need to throw else oh something came up that i missed oh finchwick fair yeah that's not max's jam Okay, so Max is feeling pretty good that he at least got himself into his new club. I am going to have... That is not where I put that, but that's okay. So I'm going to get Elijah to do his homework. So where is Elijah's skills at? He has a violin. Oh, I didn't know that Elijah had violin. Why is he feeling sad? He's still feeling insecure. Hopefully doing his homework will help. And Elsie, I want her to throw a baby shower. Uh, I think I'm gonna have her just travel with some of her girlfriends. So I think we will take her sisters out and maybe we'll all go for dinner. Doris had her baby, by the way. I haven't named him yet, but Dor or uh, sorry, Diana. So Diana is currently at home with her Bubba. We will bring um, Emma will wanna come. I know we know more people than that. Okay, so we'll invite Nelly, we'll invite Doris, we'll invite Diana, Audrey, and Emma, and we'll all just go out for like, oh, ba Bailey can come too. We'll all go out for like a girl's brunch just to celebrate the little bubba. Okay, so all the girls are here. Oh my gosh, they're all so cute. We've got Audrey. Um, What is she doing? Why does Diana look like she's giving birth again? Talk about birth. She's not pregnant, but she's acting pregnant. That is so weird. Oh, maybe talk about our own pregnancy? You already gave birth. She <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so Guiding Light, Elsie Marina feels... Oh, it was nice to hear from you, cutie. Call me later? Well, I'll be at home later, but yeah, sure, I'll call you. So these two are celebrating, and I don't think Diana would tell Elsie that she just had a bubba because obviously... Um, Elsie and Doris are best friends, and Doris doesn't really know yet, so uh, that would be awkward. So we're at the diner. I will have Elsie um, request a table for all of her girlfriends. And here's Bailey, looking cute as ever. I'm sure Bailey is so happy to be back and hanging out with her family. I'm glad I got out today. I really didn't want to stay at home today. Aw, so she's really happy that they came out for lunch with the girls. That's good. Oh, look at these two cuties. Oh, I thought they were going to sit together. Bailey's, I still got to do Bailey's uniform. Here's your table. Enjoy your meal. Oh, I guess we got seated separately. Look how fabulous little Diana is. She's so cute. Out to dinner. Okay, order for table. Get her little baby bump. Ah, she's so cute. Oh, look, there's Gage. Oh, Nelly never showed up. Okay, so I think we'll just get orange juice for everybody. I just realized Nellie never came. And if I was a pregnant lady, what would I really want to eat? I guess it kind of uh, is always different. I would say I would definitely want chicken nuggets. Ooh, pancakes and chicken nuggets. That sounds good. Oh, I guess we're getting a BLT and we're all getting pancakes. <laughs> All right, and this lady is like, I'm getting married. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so funny. This diner turned out really good. And who is this cutie? What's this guy's name? Toru Morita. If we had a single lady, I would have them say hello to him. He's a cutie pie. Oh, Elsie is over here. Oh, Nellie looks like she's on a date with Gage. Look at them with their blushy faces. Okay, well, uh, I'll see. Look, they're... It's such a cute couple of things. She's like, I'll come for the girls' lunch, but I'm gonna be with my family. I'm bringing Gage. Oh! <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh, it's so good. 
going to see these two out and just still so in love after so many years. That is so cute. I am loving this. So anyways, everybody's just celebrating Elsie having a bubba. I am so excited for her. So I am going to go ahead and I'm actually going to switch back over to little Maxie Poo. Um, and we will catch back up with him and Maxwell Villarreal. Oh my gosh, look at these two just walking off into the sunlight. Or the, the evening. They're like, we about to woohoo. <laughs> Get it, girl. So Max is going to explain to him that him and his family actually run a, you know, a side gig and, you know, his talents could be used if he's interested. He could make money weekly, you know, just helping him out with a few gigs. Oh, bless you. So Max is like, this is great. This is exactly what I wanted. I'll be able to meet more people. You know, Max has got so many friends and, you know, our Max is not really interested in school very much. So... We're gonna go ahead and we're actually gonna go under find a job. And what I've done is I've actually downloaded a mod called the Criminal Teen Mod, which allows teens to go into the criminal career, um, which is pretty cool. So oh, it should show up here. Oh my God, we have the Anime Geek Club. I forgot about all of these. That's another, oh, we gotta put um, Patsy in this one, Chemical Science Club, so cool. Uh, we should put debate and switch club Elijah in that one. Lawbreaker. There we go. So teenage years are always full of anger and stress. Why not make use of them? Join the gang and show them your criminal mind. Crime planner or professional hacker. It's up to you. So we are going to be working from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. So it's kind of like an after school thing and we only get paid $5 an hour. <laughs> oh my god. So we start tomorrow, or no, Monday at 4 p.m. Oh my gosh. Max has joined the criminal career. You might hear my cat meowing, little Moo Moo. She's come over here. Hi, Maya. Uh, hey, you left without paying for your bill. Oh, <laughs> we thought that someone else would do it. Oh my gosh. I love Elijah and his little pajamas. <laughs> so cute. No, you don't need to chat with your dad about your criminal career. Go ahead and sleep. Is there anything I need to do for work? Reach level three in the fitness skill. How is our energy level? We have quite a bit of energy, so. Does his dad have a boxing thing? He used to be quite into working out, so I might get one of those. Okay, so I'm gonna get Max to come out here and do some fitness. That way he'll be so successful at his career as a criminal. Cashy's barking at something. He's like, wait for me. I want to come to bed with you guys. Wait for me. Oh, pretty Cashy. Oh, cozy guy. So I think that um, Max, like you saw there was some times where he was mean to someone and he didn't feel great about it. Like you can see here, it got into a fight. The fight that left Max feeling physically uncomfortable. And he did have a moodlet at some point saying he wasn't feeling good. I think that Max, you know, I don't think he's inherently a bad guy. Like, Max Villarreal has, like, he's evil. He's got an evil trait. And we actually don't like him very much. So I'm surprised that we, <laughs> we even accepted him as a friend. Um, we're hot-headed, we're romantic, and we're alluring. But we're going through a mean streak. So it's a childhood phase. It is time to be mean just because. This sim is feeling nasty and will relish the chance to be mean to other sims. Um, and unfortunately, I can kind of see him taking that out on our poor Elijah because Elijah is such a quiet and pretty shy guy. What is Elijah's traits? I see him being extremely shy. His performance in school isn't very good either. Yeah, so he's proper, he's a loner, he's a quick learner. Okay, so I'm gonna let Max go to sleep now. I think he's done working on his fitness. And then in the morning, hopefully Elsie will give birth to her bubba and I need um, Elijah to get his homework finished for school. Whose funeral was today? Uh, must be the anniversary of, I'm trying to think of who's death it would have been but I guess we'll go to the family graveyard and pay our respects especially being married to Samuel um you know our family the Dempseys have lost so much of our family through war 
So we naturally have respect. Oh, we didn't make it. This is so embarrassing. I can't believe it. I peed on myself. Oh, I'm sorry, Elsie. Go ahead and have a shower. But anyways, um, I could see how um, they would ma make it really important. Like, it's super important to Samuel. You know, instill that in his kids. So we'll go over to the family cemetery and pay our respects. What a nice little family this is. You know, Elijah just sitting at the breakfast table, doing his homework, waiting for dad to cook dinner. I think that Elijah has so much respect for his dad. Meanwhile, Elsie is uber pregnant. She's like, feed me, I'm so hungry. Oh, are they cooking together? She joined in in the cooking. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, look at this, Max. Oh, I think I'm old enough now that I should be allowed to go anywhere and do whatever I want. Can't you just treat me like an adult, please? No, not until you've grown more. So Max is still trying to show a little bit of anger towards everything. Ooh, Kenneth, an acquaintance was telling me how much they dislike you. Ooh, try being a little nicer. Becoming disliked is a slippery slope. So he's already upset a few people. Oh, I love that Elsie is petting Cashy. Love that for her. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, throw this in the fridge, and we are all, as a family, going to travel. We'll take Harry and Theo and Edward uh, and Emma and our boys, because we want to teach them, and Daniel. We want to teach everybody, you know, our kids to, you know, remember our family that fought for our freedoms as well as soldiers who died for our freedoms. Okay, so it is a funeral. We need to remembrance. It says here, spend time remembering those who have f passed away. So everybody is here and they are paying their respects. Elsie is looking at Charles here. Oh, she's looking pretty sad but it's the right thing to do. Oh, I like that all the families here. Harry's getting so old. Look at little Harry. I think it's the hardest on Harry. And so it's really nice to see all the family. Where are the kids? Are the kids doing anything? Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Nope, they're like, there is a half dressed woman here. And of course, while we're here, aww, we can go ahead and pay our <sighs> respects. Elijah loves this tradition from being proper. Spend time with those who have passed but are truly never gone to participate. Click on an urn or gravestone and choose any of the available options. Aww. Okay, so everyone is kind of sharing their respects. I'll have him come over and mourn Evelyn. Not that I think he really cared about Evelyn. Do I have two? Oh, we have Vixen. Oh, I miss Vixen. It's just really nice to see the family together though, to be honest. They're getting so old. Oh, look. <gasps> of course she would be here today. Penny showed up. That's so sweet. So embarrassing. I can't believe I peed on myself. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna send everybody home. That is so crazy that she keeps peeing on herself. But one thing I do want to say, look at this. Samuel is feeling fine. He's emotionally mindful. Mindful. Finding emotional control is a journey. He's taken the first step to gain true emotional control. It requires more slow time through various thoughtful activities. If you remember in the last episode, we were having a really hard time with that. You know, he was really struggling with PTSD and now he is feeling fine. So that actually makes me so happy to see that he was able to come to the cemetery, pay his respects to other fallen soldiers, and still be okay emotionally. But the family is falling apart, so we're gonna go ahead and send everybody home. <laughs> oh no, Elsie woke up again before she could make it to the toilet and wet herself. This poor girl is just like her mother, unable. <laughs> she is incapable of getting to the bathroom in time. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'll get Samuel to clean up the mess. Oh, Samuel is looking fine. Oh, she's feeling embarrassed. I'll have her give herself a pep talk after her shower. She's so cute though. 
Samuel's like, don't worry about it. It's okay. It happens. You know, it's to be expected. He literally came into the shower to sit with her. <laughs> Aww. Can we have him compliment her appearance? Yeah, he's gonna say, you look beautiful. She's like, I'm so fat, my ankles are swollen. He's like, I have never seen you look more beautiful as you shower the urine off your body. <laughs> Aw, Samuel is such a sweetheart. Aw, so he's complimenting, he's gonna feel the baby and be like, I can't wait to have another baby with you. This, oh, bless you. This will be the first one that Elsie can act, or that Samuel's actually gonna be a part of, because the other kids were born while he was away. He didn't even know about them. So he's trying to make her feel better. What a sweetheart. And the kiddos have to go to school. I'm gonna have her work from home today. Getting things done. Elijah takes his responsibilities seriously. Max, though is for sure gonna slack off because he does not care about school at all. Exhausted, what else is new? I'll have her at least try to tinker with her workstation for a little bit. She's still at work technically, isn't she? Yeah, she needs to reach level three. <gasps> We're in labor! Oh my gosh. Uh, maybe we'll go to the hospital. I, I'm gonna have uh, Samuel go ahead and tell Elijah that um, his mom's gone into labor and that they're gonna go to the hospital so to watch the house and to watch the dog um, and to find out where his brother is. Um, meanwhile, Max requests from Boss. Boss has asked Max to steal something and show off his royalty to the gang. I'm guessing that was supposed to be loyalty to the gang. Max immediately thought of his rich neighbor, Mr. McDuck, who is abroad for work. But Max also thought that taking something out of his school is safer. Ooh. I don't know which he would feel. I think he's gonna try to go big. Oh no, Mr. Maduck's nephew is guarding, or more accurately, sleeping in the mansion. He taught Max a valuable lesson, performance loss. We had a performance loss. We made 10 bucks. <laughs> okay, so we have to go to the hospital. He's having pre-parental uh, panic. Edward wants to hang out with us. Sorry, um, I'm about to have a baby. Okay, we are at the hospital. Oh, I forgot that I renovated the hospital to make it look all old school. I forgot I built such a cute hospital. Okay, so where are we giving birth? Uh, over here. Oh, I miss Charles. Oh, I'm so sad now. Okay, I think the check-in room is over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and have her... Uh, check in at front desk. I forgot that I built this really cool hospital. <laughs> oh, I miss Charles. Come on, Elsie. Come have a baby. There we go. Do you remember when she was pregnant with the boys and Charles was there for her? I didn't Charles deliver the baby. Samuel, this is his first time being there. He's like, I'll just sit here. Should I come? Should I go? I don't know what to do. <laughs> He's just like, <laughs> oh, I hear the bubble music. I'm so, so excited. Please be a girl. Please be a girl. Please be a girl. Please be a girl. <gasps> it's a girl. Elsie Marina just gave birth to a baby girl. This baby needs a name. Okay, so I'm just gonna put name her Molly Gibbs, and then if y'all want to go ahead and drop some girl, baby girl name suggestions in the description below, then I will change Molly's name when she ages up. If ages up, if you don't like the name Molly, <gasps> it's a girl. <laughs> she had twins. I mean, they are prone to twins, these two. They already had one set of twins. Oh my gosh, two boys now, two girls. <gasps> oh my gosh. 
two little Baba girls. Okay, so I just randomized Casey, Cassie. Like I said, go ahead, put the names below and we will rename these little girls. <gasps> oh my gosh, Samuel is gonna be so protective of those babies. I just know it. Oh my gosh, they had two baby girls. I'm so excited. She will give them. Oh, would you boo? We have Molly and Cassie at home. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and send them home. Is he so happy, my little baby? I still can't believe that I gave birth. <laughs> um, I don't think that you gave birth, Samuel. <laughs> My game is so messed up. All my sims think that they're just popping out babies right now. It's so funny. Um, Samuel is going to be the best dad. I just know it. And I know that Elijah would be so excited to meet his little sisters. Oh my gosh. It's late, I should sleep. Yeah, I agree. But you did just have a bubba, or you just had sisters, so it's okay. Oh, look, Cassie's like, I'm on guard. No one will get into this door without me watching. Aw, Cassie's such a good dog. He's talking to little Casey, Cassie, and now little Molly. Oh, look at the toys. Oh my gosh, so, so, so exciting. What a busy episode. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below so I can hear your thoughts. I love reading them. And um, until next time, I'm gonna say bye for now. A little different than all the rest. A quite old fashioned wear a hat sometimes